John McKay. And I'm Marie Saavedra in for Cynthia tonight. Two other workers were hurt in today's explosion, along with two firefighters. This happened in Crescent, right at the Hood County line. News 8's Lauren Zakalik is live there for us tonight. And Lauren, we're hearing from that missing worker's family. Yeah, we are today. It'll in fact be tomorrow morning likely before crews can get into that chemical plant to start searching for that missing man. At last check, that chemical plant was still on fire, but family has identified that missing man as 27 year old Dylan Mitchell of Weatherford. He is a father of one and beloved by his family. They gave us this photo of him to share. His family has been waiting here at the fire station in Crescent for any word or developments. We're told there were 12 people in inside the chemical plant when it exploded. Two were sent to the hospital, one with bad burns on the upper half of his body. But Dylan has not been accounted for. We spoke to a close family friend today who is trying to cope with all the unknowns right now. I think every memory that I have of him has gone through my head this morning and a lot of good memories of Dylan. You just don't ever think that, yeah, I mean, we're not guaranteed the next five minutes from now. I mean, we, you just never know. Now, as for firefighters, they're going to be decontaminating and perhaps, according to the mayor, even throwing out their gear after fighting fire with, quote, toxic air because of all those chemicals. Groups like TCEQ and the EPA have been out here, according to the mayor. But the mayor insists that there are no concerns right now to the public because of how remotely located that chemical plant is and the direction the wind took this. Reporting live in Crescent, Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Lauren.